Good morning. In our last video, we covered transformation reflection on vertical lines. In this video, I'm going to uh, cover reflection on horizontal line. Let's say you are standing on a top of a mountain, just like that. Okay, and there is water. Uh, this is the top of the mountain and then you will have this reflection of the mountain over here like that and this would be your reflection if you consider this this reflection line over here to be y axis x axis and over here is let's say it's y axis so your image would be exactly opposite side of your object your object is two unit above the x-axis so your image would be two units below the x-axis this is an example of reflection on horizontal line the equation of this x-axis is y equal to zero and then if we are considering this same concept on a piece of paper let's see how can we do that if a triangle is like that okay its coordinates i'm going to keep the same coordinates like the one we have used in last video uh, a this is object and coordinates of a are one and one b i hope you remember coordinates of b is our three and one c coordinates of c are actually it was like this if you remember the last one 3 1 and C is 1 4 now the reflection would be something like that every corresponding points equally distance from the line of reflection it's one unit above the x-axis so its image would be one unit below the x-axis so image would be the coordinates of the image would be a prime is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 b prime would be 3 minus 1 and c prime would be 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 if you are looking at the formula if you have any coordinates a and b check that x coordinates remain same it's the y coordinates that gets changed so if you have this image coordinates of the uh, sorry co coordinates of the object then the formula to get the coordinates of the image is a minus b okay this is the formula if any object reflected on x axis or y equal to zero line now let's talk about the transformation matrix transformation matrix if any object reflected on x axis reflected reflected on x axis or equation would be y equal to 0 then the transformation matrix would be 1 0 0 minus 1 and i hope you remember the formula matrix times object equal to the image if my object uh, matrix trans transformation is 1 0 0 minus 1 and object over here 1 1 coordinates of a 1 1 b 3 1 and c 1 4 that's a b and c coordinates of a b c now the image would be again multiplication of matrix goes like that the first column with the first row with the first column over here so 1 times 1 is 1 plus 0 times 1 is 0 so it's going to be 1 then this with this 1 plus 1 times 3 is 3 plus 0 times 1 is 3 then next one is 1 and now this one with this thing this row with this column 0 times 1 is 0 plus minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 same way the First multiplication product is 0, second one is minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, and that's our A prime, B prime, C prime, and you can see that the coordinates of the image 1, minus 1, 
b prime is 3 minus 3 c prime is 1 minus 4 so this is whenever you are using the transformation matrix if you want to say this on the grid this is how i did that same thing like this one i just draw this one over here now if you fold it like before whenever we did the uh, transformation on y-axis same thing happened when we were transforming reflecting on the x-axis the corresponding points coincide when you fold through the line of reflection okay i hope you remember that now let's say this object an image over here is like this see that one two three four so one two three four and it's one two three sorry it's going to be like this now let's say this is our a double prime and this is one minus six then b double prime would be three minus six and c double prime would be here one minus nine clearly this is not uh, in this transformation x-axis is not the line of reflection then how it is if you remember in last video what we have observed that x coordinates um, change y coordinates remain same therefore we take the average of x coordinates but in this case when we have a reflection on x-axis or horizontal line what happened x coordinates remain same y coordinates get changed so the line of reflection if it's not x-axis then it would be the average of y-axis okay average of y-axis in this case our object is this one and image this is image 2 and it's a double prime is 1 minus 6 B double prime is 3 minus 6 and C double prime is 1 minus 9 <clears throat> so if I take clearly you can see that X coordinates didn't change Y coordinates got changed so line of reflection line of reflection in this case Y equal to minus 6 plus 1 divided by 2 that's minus 2.5 let's see if it's work over here or not so minus 2.5 1 2 that's over here so if I draw a line draw a line over here at y equal to minus 2.5 now this coordinates uh, this a points from this 1 2 three and half units away this is 3.5 units away now check this one this is a coordinates point is a prime a double prime the distance of a double prime from the line of reflection one two three and half this is also 3.5 units away from the line of reflection this is one of the way you can do this or you can just add the distance from a to double uh, a to a double prime this one two three four five six seven seven divided by two that's going to be three point five so from here you just come three point five this side three one one two three three point five this is your line of reflection okay same like before whenever you are asked to find out the um, or describing describe the single single transformation you are required to give two pieces of information and one of them is type of transformation transformation and as soon as you recognize this type of transformation then equation or line of reflection now you don't need to write down again the black letter I have used all you need to do just put this one reflection and if this is your object and this is your image the line of reflection would be either x-axis that x-axis or you can say y equal to 0 if it's this case then 
uh, again reflection. I mean, if you have the image this one, an object this one, then line of reflection would be y equal to minus 2.5. Now, in this particular case, also you may have, let me use this one, the invariant line and invariant point. Okay, I hope you remember invariant line and invar invariant point. If you have, now from here, if, if this triangle just come down one unit below, so new A is 1, 0, B is 3, 0, C is 1, 3. Now it's reflected on this particular line, X axis, and A, B, and C prime over here. A, B doesn't change. So this A, B is in easier invariant line. But if it's reflected like this, uh, let's put it this way. This way, and then the reflection is this way. If I have the object here and image over here, you can see that this point remains same after the transformation. So this is three zero. This is the coordinates of the point of invariant, okay, invariant point. Okay, this is how you do that. I hope you understand that. If you have any question, leave uh, that question on the. Uh, comment box i'll get back to you and in next video i'll i'll do the reflection on slant line that's y equal to x or y equal to minus x or some other slant lines okay thank you have a good day